Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems and today's system is from the user Planet and Mug in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending in their system and their system is called the Rewild system, hope I'm saying that right so without further ado, let's hop straight into this so it's already should be here, there it is let's go ahead and see what they have prepared for us today so, wait for it to load up, okay hello right, the Rewild Rewow system. Hope I'm saying that right. I really hope I do because I probably butcher half of these. Right, anyways. Welcome. No pressing the play button. Oh, we'll see about that. Not all moons have descriptions. Unique ones is the one that have a description. Okay, right. On to the star itself though. So it's a white dwarf. Uh, F7V white dwarf. Not the remnant of a star. Hosting a series of rocky planets, gas giants, and TCB object. What's a TCB object? I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, I'm sure we'll find out. First of the planets. We've got Car Carrail. Uh, light blue cyan planet that was thrown too close to the star. It survived with some of its mass stripped away. Okay. There he is. Good stuff. Right, next up. We're heading to Bowwow over here. Oh, nice uh, yellow. Yeah, I told you, yellowish atmospheres look really good with like glowing hot worlds. It just the color blending on it goes really well with the orange on the dark side, and then goes on with the yellow in the day. It's a nice combo. Um, a planet with a dense and thick carbon dioxide atmosphere that makes it temperature exceed 700 degrees Celsius. It rains sulfur here. Oh yeah. Okay. Moving on. Who have we got next? It is this one. Whoa, what's going on here? Whale. Yeah, okay. A planet with a purplish atmosphere and weird land formations due to collisions in the early time. It's a barren white desert with clouds. Very bizarre. Okay, interesting design. Check that out. Oh, it's been absolutely... It must have been absolutely smashed on this side to have that sort of effect. So this world has been absolutely destroyed. Something, something big has collided with that. Oh, wow, we. Okay. Moving on, we got Say Whale over here. This appears to be the Earth-like. Um, a gigantic hatful rocky planet with a mass of 13 of Earth. It's um, to the fact that iron is the most abundant element found in its mantle due to its gigantic mass. It's able to keep all of the waters in liquid state despite temperature far exceeding boiling water's point. Tectonic plates tend to move faster, so expect frequent earthquakes. Ooh. Well, look at our tidal waves. It's very ocean-heavy as well. Okay. Next up, we're heading to... Uh, 1A, which is here. Okay, so. A barren planet with clouds and atmosphere has a reddish atmosphere. So that's probably a Mars sort of equivalent there. We've got 1AB, so a moon here. Obviously no description for this guy. Very nice. Uh, next up we are heading to 1B. Used to be the low mass moons of... Uh, 1A, now is a dwarf planet with a purple mountain. Okay. Nice. Then we have 1C over here. Used to be a high mass moon. Um, it's one third the mass of uh, 1A. It's a Haspel planet. The, the cyan colour is due to the solidified fossil sulfur dioxide. The northern side has a strange occurrence, though. It has a cycle where atmosphere gets thinner and water and clouds from. But then six months later, water and clouds gone. Atmosphere gets thicker again. The whalings like to call it atmospheric changes. Okay. Nice. It has a single moon as well. There it is. Okay. Cool. Next up, we're into uh, Curio Whale, which is here. Okay. Little asteroid, as we can see here. Short period comet, yeah. Then we're heading to Da Whale over here. A planet with two asteroids and one moon is a satellite. It's almost like Mars, but it's green, has some northern southern hemisphere ice melt into water. Red atmosphere, very, very green surface. You can see the little patches of water on them as well. Moons are on a uh, Uranus kind of axis on their sides down here. And then there's the moon as well. Okay. Lovely stuff there. OK, 
Okay, and we got uh, C, W, A, B, C. Okay, so where are those guys? Oh yeah, here we go. So I've got A here. Lack of data, but is a white grey dwarf planet with a black mountain. Okay, there you are. Then we got B, a retrograde orbit dwarf planet with a moon and rings. It's a retrograde orbit going the wrong way round. There it is. It's got its ring system, and it's got its moon as well. Nice. And then CB is over here. C and CB. About the same size, okay, for this one. Cool. So we're heading to this one. System navigation, what's that? Probe. And then we've got DB Whale over here. A greenish gas giant that has an unstable moon system due to gravity influence of its largest moon, DB Whale B. Has a ring similar to Jupiter. There he is. Okay. And there is the big moon causing all the trouble. So, there you go. Looking good. Kind of like a Titan-esque kind of look to it. Very nice. Cool. And then we've got a lot of moons. Have a quick brief look at these guys as well. There they are. But they're all pretty much regular looking moons, aren't they? So, there you are. Cool. Right, so we've got Tephra Whale here. What's this? Long period comet. Okay. We've got CB Whale over here. A dark blue gas shot with tens of moons orbiting it. It's it mostly unnamed asteroids. Okay. You've got to see the baby moons there, and the rest are all. Just asteroids, aren't they? Yeah, they're not even named. Okay. Lots of those as well. Let's see whale D over here. What's that? There he is. Lovely. Next up, we're into two whale over here. Woohoo! Wowee. Okay, lots of satellites around this guy. A whole, uh, whole set of them. whole satellite network going on here. Okay. Whoa. Glowing hot on one side. What's that all about? Something must have collided with that or something. That's strange. Okay, so what's the description saying for this guy? So, a small gas giant, TBC. Ah, that's what a TBC is. Okay. It's actually the smallest of three in the system. Have a, a giant, beautiful ring. Um, bow to. Bow to do so has destroyed all of its moons. Now this planet only has one moon sitting there lonely. Thankfully, the whaling scientists are able to reheat and keep its core hot. So a vacation for many people. The satellite is currently, oh, actually apartments. Okay, interesting. And we have do wall over here. Do well. Another uh, trans CB object. Okay, uh, object of a green mountain lands an asteroid as a moon. There they are there. Very nice. Then we have Wow Whale over here, which is this one. So it's another comet. Once in five generations. Then we have this one. E E what? A not so interesting object. Okay. Oh hello explorer, you've entered the deep space. Okay, so now we're heading to some very mysterious stuff. So we've got our observer spacecraft. Right, so is there stuff further out? There it is. Other world observer. We've got Whale X. Right, Planet X. Okay. Same like Planet 9. is ejected into outer space in the early time. A beautiful red-black gas giant. As you can see it in the picture on the right. Ha, huh, strange. According to the system's origin, this planet doesn't belong to the system, and the red blood surface doesn't help either. We sent an otherworld observer to take a clear photo of the planet. And lastly, we have Ejectow. So, uh, what's all this then? So this, the planet I just read here, that's the description for this one. So that's the red surface one. Okay. So for the planet 9, we've got the red surface one here that doesn't belong in the system. Then we've got... A jet tail over here. That almost looks like it's going to get captured by that second star there. Oi! Let me collect. There you go. So, what's this? What's the story behind this guy? So, and no, it doesn't mean this planet was ejected too. It's somewhat similar to the previous one, but with black clouds and orange hue atmosphere. And here to another system. So, we've got a whole other set here. Okay. Very far away. Deep imaging imager. So, you got another. Probe there, right. What's going on here then? Okay. So more of a red dwarf star. 
Orange Dwarf Orbs in four Hatable Candidates. Okay. So we've got Iro Curl over here. There it is. Nice colour. But the, the star probably giving it a nice thing as well. An ocean planet with a hot ocean and orange atmosphere. Looking good. Let's have a little look underneath there. There you go. Very nice. Yeah, the atmosphere gives it a nice, nice tune colour there. Uh, next up, we're heading to Waffle over here. Another more orangey one. Another kind of deserted planet with no water whatsoever. It's all orange in this planet. Yeah. There's a lot of orange. I think I've read them in the wrong order. So this Waffle, this is a barren desert planet with little to no water. It barely rains even though it has clouds. So that's that one. Then there's one called Kuala... This one. Another kind of deserted planet with no water whatsoever. It's all orange in this planet. So that's that one. Okay. Cool. Then we have Ear Tail. This suitable planet with land and ocean is also a stable planet with atmosphere similar to Earth. Yellow plants dominate the planet's surface and blue LED lights are the most used lights in the planet. There you go. Yes. And we have... Where's well, a moon as well? Stala over here. Stalel. Some of these names are quite tough. I do apologise if I've butchered every single one of them. But anyways, a gas giant with a strange colour pattern was always disturbing the balance between uh, A and B's binary system. However, also trying to stabilise it at the same time. It has three moons that close it off or orbits it closely. So there you go. We've got one, two, and three, and that is the full set. So there you go. That is the system. And there's one more object, another system navigator. And that is the full system. So... What happens if you press play then? Because they said not to do it, so... Play! Whoa! What's going on here? Everyone's just blown up! Whoa! -hoo! They're all disintegrating! What's all this then? Ho <laughs> ho! Hey, maybe he used that uh, do not press the button. Maybe he used that, that detonator button in the game that just blows it all. <laughs> it's all getting destroyed. <laughs> okay, so that's why you don't press play. Because they all just blow up. Okay, anyway, so let's get a lineup of all of the objects here. So, where are we? There you are. Radius. Yeah, that red one, the red and black one's nice. I do like that. I like that as well. Yellow and orange always go as well, like I said. That's cool. I did like this one as well with that massive smack on it. That's quite an interesting design. Yeah, some of my favourites in this system. But yeah, there we go. So that does it for this system. So again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, Planet and Mug, for sending in their system. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And that all send on everybody. Let's even go for 100 likes on today's video as well. Subscribe more. Helps on journey to 50,000 subscribers. And make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.